Ladies and gentlemen, it's Alan Mike back with another video. Today, we're at Untamed Strength, the home of Alan Thrall. How's he do it? Train Untamed. Lower body day. Um, trying to take this weightlifting thing a little bit more serious. I actually was just upstairs, not to get my guru on, but uh, we have a rooftop patio here. And I was up there with my coffee. I grabbed a little protein bar. And I was thinking to myself, uh, man, like, I try new things, I do new things, I step outside my comfort zone, I do all this stuff that, you know, the world, your parents, your business mentor, your lifting mentor, all these, you know, successful people tell you to do, to grow, to thrive, to get to know yourself. I've done that for the last, whatever, 15 years, since I've become, you know, semi-self-aware as a young adult, I've tried to push myself to do different things, to start new businesses, to fail businesses, to leave jobs, to, to go against the grain, to not go to college, to, to do my own path, all these things. But recently, with the weightlifting um, and other things in life, I've really contemplated more that it's, it's more about actually, like, doing something and sticking with something that you suck at. Um, luckily for me, I, you know, I'm okay at business. I, I, I'm okay at building content. I'm okay at powerlifting. I'm, I'm okay at coaching. I put in, not only put in the years for those things, but some of those, I don't want to say came easy to me, but came easier to me. Um, and in the current shape and state of my elderly body, you know, I've played basketball 15 years competitive, basically year round, powerlifted now pretty hard for about 10 years. My body's pretty beat up. And so to the demands of Olympic weightlifting at this point are very tough for me. If I started earlier, would I've been more uh, adapt to it? Would I've been a little bit better at um, progressing in it? Probably, I would have been less stiff. I would have been less mental about, you know, the things that I've, I've hurt in the past, et cetera, et cetera. Point being is that I absolutely suck at weightlifting. One, it is arguably the hardest discipline of strength training. And I think that's, you know, pretty tough argument for anyone to go against. You know, the, the, the speed, the strength, the positioning, the timing, plus the mobility it takes. Um, you know, younger Mike, uh, and I know it sounds like the old guy, I'm only 30, but I just, my body's been through it. But younger Mike had definitely the speed, the timing, the rhythm. Um, older Mike has like the strength. Um, neither Mike's had the mobility. And so it's, it would have been difficult for me anyways. Point being, it would, I would have been a little bit better off if I would have started younger, obviously. I think everyone can say that with Olympic weightlifting. Um, but at this point, I, I truly suck at it. Like, it's hard for anybody to get better at it, but I really suck at it. Um, and that's been like, that weighs on my head considering it's something I do and look forward to five times a week. Something I wanna you know, share the journey with you guys is it's not always fun to suck but I think it really does teach you a lot about yourself if you're willing to put in the time, put in the, the, the sacrifice of, of a little bit of pain, a little bit of humbleness or a big old piece of humble pie um, and truly chip away at something that may not go anywhere for me. Like uh, not going to the Olympics, may never even compete in it, m might never clean a jerk or, or snatch something even semi-impressive. My, my, it literally could go, the road could lead to nowhere and still I'm putting in some of this discipline and sacrifice and energy towards getting better at it. Um, because one, I do enjoy it. Two, I have a really good group of guys around me. Uh, and three, again, I think it just is teaching me a lot about myself when I want to quit, when I don't want to quit, questioning, walking that line. Um, so whatever that is, take it, with, take it with what you guys want. But sucking at this has been... Uh, a blessing in disguise and am I getting better sure sure but you know when you first start powerlifting and you're deadlifting you're squatting you're benching multiple times a week and you're adding five pounds to the bar six months from there you have some traps you didn't have a year from there you're deadlifting 100 pounds more than you were I don't see that progress in the state uh, that I'm in and so it's really difficult to be like super gung-ho about it although I am learning lessons that are maybe less visible um, so untamed strength uh, basically started that rant because uh, squatting again three, four, five times a week, trying to clean two to four and snatch two to four depending on what Ben has for me. Uh, cleans this day were from the hang. I think I ended up with 110 or so kilos. Uh, and actually, I was rewatching the video, watching it right now on my secret cheat sheet here. We're like uh, NBC News. I can see 
they're just feeding it to me. But uh, I'm actually moving kind of good. You know, I'm not moving super snappy, super fast, but I'm starting to find a rhythm on there. Um, it's starting to be fun. I look a little tubby there. Uh, I don't know uh, what was happening, but if I had a big breakfast, sometimes we've been going for donuts before squat sessions, and so like my belly's sticking out like I'm a little fat baby, and so we, we're gonna get rid of that. Back on the lean machine ride, I promise you boys, uh, I'm gonna get a little bit leaner. Ben is always a smashing freaking weights, and so it's really fun to see him kind of get life back into his competition legs again. Um, super competitive guy. He's again, similar state to me, has been doing it for so long. Sometimes it's hard to find that fire day in and day out. You just get the work in day in, day out, and kind of save that fire. Um, but for see, see him a little bit more motivated, it's been a lot, a lot of fun. Squats hit up something pretty heavy pause, I think 485 or so. Uh, again, I'm squatting four times a week and the basics of squats, when you start to handle higher frequencies, depending on the goal, is you want to add some variation, uh, multiple reasons. One, so you don't get stagnant in your progressions. You can't just squat three sets of five at a late intermediate stage all day, every day, and expect to progress. You need to throw in, in a sense, a curveball or muscle confusion, even though you're not confusing shit. It's basically just different stimuluses and ways to overload. So I'm doing pause beltless once a week, uh, beltless reps once a week, pa uh, pause with a belt so I can go a little bit heavier but still not get that rebound. And then I've been doing heavy singles, doubles, triples with a belt once a week. And that's gonna switch up here because I've just been um, jamming away on, on, on intensity and, and adding five, five pounds, 10 kilos a week. So now we're gonna to start to get a little bit more volume in. So look forward to that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed some of the training. Hope you enjoyed some of that ranting. It's just things that pop in my head as, as my life goes on. I share this journey and share kind of, a, you know, unpeel the onion layer and try to share with you guys. So be sure to give this thing a thumbs up. Comment below what you guys wanna see in the next video. Tons of raw training footage on the way. Solid Mike, I appreciate you, I'm out.